morning everybody. Welcome back once more to my home here in Morris. On this, the last day of our liturgical year, Saturday the 2nd of December. It's the ending of a year where terribles and violence and war seemed to be everywhere. Even recently in Dublin's fair city. But we, as an Oblate family, being together, can look back on a year of shared prayer, shared supporting. Each morning we meet and pray together and help each other. And I give thanks to all the people who have made this happen over the last year. Let us begin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. You know by now that I like my poetry. So again, I would like to share with you a poem to begin by John O'Donoghue. No one knew the name of this day, born quietly from deepest night. It hid its face in light, demanded nothing of itself, opened out to offer each of us a field of brightness that travelled ahead, providing in time ground to hold our footsteps and to light of thought to show the way. The mind of the day shows no attention. It dwells within the silence with elegance to create a space for all our worlds, drawing us to listen inward and outward. We well seldom notice how each day is a holy place where the Eucharist of the ordinary happens, transforming our broken fragments into an eternal continuity that keeps us. Somewhere in us a dignity presides that is more gracious than the smallness that fuels us with fear and force. A dignity that trusts the form a day takes. So we give thanks for being betrothed to the unknown and for the secret work through which the mind of the day and wisdom of the soul become one. Today's Gospel reading is again from chapter 21 of Luke. Jesus said to his disciples, Watch yourselves, or your hearts will be coarsened with debauchery and drunkenness and the cares of life. And that day will be sprung on you suddenly like a trap, for it will come down on every living person on the face of the earth. Stay awake, praying at all times for the strength to survive all that is going to happen and to stand with confidence before the Son of Man. This is very much a gospel of ending, but to be a Christian is to believe in the new. To be a Christian is to believe in a God of newness, 
perpetually active among us, forever bringing the new out of the old, transforming the tomb of death into the womb of new life. To be a Christian is to dare to attempt to see how God sees. So this evening in my church here in Bomaris, Our Lady Queen of Martyrs, we have a vigil mass. So this evening, the first Sunday of Advent will arrive and we will light that first candle on the Advent wreath. And when we light it, I will hold each one of us from the Oblet family in prayer and look forward in hope. So we come to the end of our morning prayer together and I pray. In the light of the Father of light, we begin to see a way forward. In the courage of Jesus, who risked everything, we find ourselves heartened and enthused. In the joy of the Spirit among us, we rejoice in God's providence in our lives. Blessed are you, eternal source of all life. Blessed are you, word of life, word of truth. Blessed are you, creative spirit in our midst. Amen. And may the Lord bless us all. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for joining me again today. Have a beautiful day. and Keep smiling as we move forward. Bye-bye.